What's good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Sanji, back at it with another offensive line review. The Las Vegas Raiders versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Check this play out. Look at what the Raiders offensive line does. Big Leatherwood, Andre James, John Simpson, and Colton Miller. Putting guys on their asses, man. Check this play out. Let's break it down a little bit. First and foremost, this is going to be a zone run, and you're going to see a couple of double teams by the Raiders offensive linemen. You got Leatherwood and James. You got Simpson and Colton. And then from there, Colton's going to get up to number 50, and Jameson's going to get up to number 49. And this is going to be a zone run by the running back, Kenyon Drake. If you watch the blocks, you're going to see that they do a great job. They're going to get to that first level. Both guys here and here. And watch both of these defensive linemen on the grounds. Look at this. John Simpson here. Le Leatherwood here getting face masked a little bit. And then you got Andre James and Colton Miller both going to the next level. This is what a running back wants to, to be able to see. That's just a good enough job there. Uh, Kenyon does a nice job cutting back. And then Colton gets on to number 50 and really tosses him. Look at this. What what linebacker wants their back turned in a play because an offensive tackle tosses them? That is a great block right there. And this is just a nice job by the offensive line. The O-line's really coming together. I want to show you guys a couple more plays. This next play here is a very interesting play. You're going to see the Raiders run this ISO concept. They're going to get their fullback onto number 52. Uh, basically, you're going to get some out blocks, but it really starts with this motion by number 87. Comes back on this wham block, and then boom, Alex Leatherwood gets up to that linebacker, and he does a nice job. But let's break this down a little bit more, because in my opinion, this play only works because of this double team from Andre James and to, to, to John Simpson. Um, and then at the same time, Leatherwood does a good job. He has a three tech, so he's just going to block this out. But if you watch uh, Andre James and you watch this double team here, this is a nice, proper double team on number 97 because that allows Simpson to have the leverage. At the same time, you'll see the tight end coming on the wham block. But just watch this in real time. Watch the block by the center and left guard. And then the center does a nice job getting up to number 57. At the same time, if we take this back a notch and you keep your eyes on the fullback, this fullback has come in strides, man. So much better at run blocking now than he was in the past. Boom, look at that. Look at that hit on number 52. 52 does not want any of Alex in gold. And that right there, man, that's 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 great, man. A Alex really gotten better at blocking. And Kenyon Drake hits the hole and picks up a ton of yards. This is just a nice job by everybody. Even even Alex Leatherwood, man, watch the push on big number 91 right there. Boom, get that push. Get to the inside and really get your chest, your hands, everything about this. I absolutely love from Alex Leatherwood. Look at this. Helmet to the correct side, hands to the inside. And then watch this. Boom, look at this. Look at this right here. Leverage. <laughs> this is a beautiful block by Alex Etherwood. And then bench, bench press him off. 91 does the same thing. But 91 has moved. Alex Etherwood had the leverage. You're not going to win now. You're not going to be able to make the recovery and get back to the inside. This is just a really nice hole for the running back. Again, the offensive line has done so much better against the Eagles and, and even the Broncos. But there's so many more plays that I want to share with you guys. Watch this run right here. Watch from left tackle to right tackle. This is beautiful, man. This is how you run block. This is how these zone plays should work. Every single one of these. You get the double to the to the next level. I, I want to just I want you guys to just focus in just to start this video or, or this play specifically off. I want you guys to focus in uh, right here. Uh, right guard, right tackle. I want you guys to watch how 70 is going to hit, get up to the next level, and then 75 is going to overtake number 91. This is how the zone concept works. Uh, just focus in on the right guard, right tackle. There's the hit by 70. 75 comes to the inside, and then 70 gets up to the next level. That is what you want to see from your backside blockers. But uh, that's not the only block. In fact, the best block probably comes uh in here between the left guard and center watch the left guard hit the guy and then watch the center overtake that right there man that's a thing of beauty and i don't want people to underestimate how impactful this is this play works 
because of this block right here. And Simpson does a great job getting into this defensive tackle, really turning him and allowing Simpson to take over for him, which allows Simpson to get up to the next level. And that right there is a beautiful job by left guard center. Uh, this is a gain of seven yards. Great run. And then even then, watch watch the future of, of, of the Raiders team right here. The left tackle, Colton Miller. Watch him get nasty and physical and put down number 96. I love to see that right there, man. This is a great run. Great block by pretty much everybody across the board. And the Raiders are clicking on all cylinders, man. This stuff right here fires me up. Jumping forward, check this play out. Watch John Simpson and watch how he moves this defensive lineman. Watch how he's going to turn him and really just, just get right underneath him and push him. That is a nice block by John Simpson. Now, you guys see he kind of gets hurt a little bit on that play. Uh, hopefully he's okay. I know he, he kind of had some injury issues this game. Uh, another block to watch, center and right guard watch Andre James help his his guard out look at that look at that hit underneath 98 pushes him out Leatherwood overtakes him James gets to the next level and the running back picks up a ton of yards it's a great job by the interior offensive line how many times did the Raiders run a screen pass with John Gruden versus with Rich Passaccia in two games? Or I should say with Greg Olson specifically. We've run screens three times now in the past two games. With John Gruden, we did not once run a running back screen. Or at least a successful running back screen. And now we've ran three of them to have success. But just look at how beautiful this is, man. For a running back to be able to do something like this... You're catching the ball and you have two offensive linemen in front of you and you have another coming to the side of you. But obviously Simpson's, you know, going to get outrun. But look at this site, man, for Josh, man. This is this is a beautiful site right here. A great job by all three of those young interior offensive linemen to get downfield and really make a nice block. You know, this is this is exactly what I, I want to see from our offensive linemen. I want them to be downfield. Look at this. You got all five offensive linemen on this screen pass, all coming down 20 yards, blocking downfield 20 freaking yards, man. This is the kind of stuff that I want to continue to see from the offensive line. The, this offensive line took strides against the Eagles, and the Eagles front is not a bad front, man. You got Fletcher, Cox, Hardgrave, uh, and a couple other good defensive ends. They're a good unit, and the Raiders offensive line, let's, let's be honest, the Raiders offensive line punked this defensive line unit. Watch this block by left guard and left tackle on number 98. Left guard's going to hit, and then he's going to get up to the next uh, stage of his block, and then Colton Miller's going to overtake. These are the types of blocks that I personally love as a former offensive lineman, because in my opinion, these are the types of blocks that allow a play to be successful. Double team, getting up to the next level. Great gain of five yards on this play, and this was just such a simple concept. Uh, it's just the inside zone. Andre and Leatherwood and Parker all do a great job as well. This is just a nice block by that offensive line. I, you know, I've been focusing only on running plays because that's really what makes up this offensive line, or at least the success, because we know what's going to happen in, in pass protection, especially when the run game gets going. So let's just get into some passing plays. When you keep Derek Carr clean, when you give him a clean pocket and he's not pressured, these are the results you're going to get. This is a really nice job by the offensive line to pick up. I believe it was a stunt on, from the left side of the offensive line, left tackle, left guard. We'll see it from the back side right here. I believe they're going to come on, on some sort of stunt. But look at Derek Carr kept clean. Look at Andre James and John Simpson picking up this, this defensive end coming around on this stunt. More so, Colton Miller picking up that defensive tackle. This is a tackle and stunt, which means the tackle goes first. And look at that. Look at that pickup right there. Uh, inside, you're going to see the same exact thing. Uh, you obviously see, I believe, the defensive tackle is going to kind of just stay out. But watch Brandon Parker. Brandon Parker is going to pass off 94 to Leatherwood. He's going to make sure Leatherwood doesn't get, he, he doesn't not see it. He's going to make sure he slows down that defensive end enough. He's going to keep his hands on him as long as he possibly can before trying to switch over and obviously Kenyon does a good job and that defensive tackle kind of just hits back but look at how clean of a pocket this is for DC and what happens when you give DC a clean pocket the guy delivers that's what happened on this play 
Watch the left side of your screen, right tackle, right guard, and watch this stunt that they're going to pick up, process. Great job by both of these guys, man. Look at this. Right tackle passes the stunt off. Leatherwood sees it, man. He's already turning his body to pick that up because he sees it's coming. They pass it off cleanly. Brandon Parker is going to take number 91. And because of the fact that they're able to pick that stunt up, look at this little lane right here for Derek to really slide up and step up into and deliver the pass. That right there is a nice job by that that right side of the offense line. You know, this line's really coming together, and I'm really excited to see what they can continue to do. As I watch all of these plays, it really excites me because the unit is young. Think about it. Like, our oldest offensive linemen right now are, are the tackles. Both tackles are in their fourth year. Uh, the inside is pretty much all in their first full-time starting years, right? Andre's technically year three, but it's his first time starting Leatherwood's a rookie, first year starting. Simpson, although he's a second year player, this is his first time starting. And the unit's coming together, and we're about to enter, what, week eight, week nine? So the Raiders unit can get so much better before the season even ends, before the playoff starts, before that Super Bowl. They can get so much better. If there's one player on this Raiders team that needs a ton more credit than he's getting, a guy that's playing as a top five tackle right now in the league, that's my man Colton Miller. Watch this beautiful play. This is a play that we run at least once a week. Colt Miller's going to come to the inside and then get out there for the wide receiver screen and boom, get out there to number three and really push him around. That's a really nice job. And people don't understand how difficult of a job this is for a guy like Colton to, to have to do, right? Get out there, boom, get on number three and, and keep him off balance and really make way for, for Hunter Renfro. Like, let's be honest. Okay, if this play right here, if number three just steps up and just shoots this gap, it's so much more difficult for Hunter Renfro to really do anything. Um, but because Colton Miller is able to push three back, Renfro really just stays on the butt of Colton Miller here. Right. And he really just just runs what Colton as Colton pushes his guy because the backside chase is coming from that defense. You know, the Raiders offense line, as I've said, is getting so much better. They're getting more comfortable. They're doing things that they were not doing weeks one through five. We're running the read option now because we got Marcus Mariota back. The, the Greg Olsen effect has really allowed this Raiders roster and this Raiders team to come together on the offense side of the ball. Now, I will say this. This is still a John Gruden team. This is still a John Gruden offense. It's just being run by somebody else. And I also want people to understand one thing. Although the offense line's playing great, you can argue the Eagles and Broncos have probably checked out in terms of their rosters, in terms of those guys. And you can argue that those were really not that good of the teams. And the real test will be the Chiefs, the Cowboys, specifically, in my opinion, the Washington football team and the Bengals, because those two defenses are, are top tier defenses right now. But more so than that, I think what we saw against the, the Bears and Chargers was just a fluke. I, I don't think that's what this offense actually is. I think they're maybe going through something internally. Maybe John Gruden felt a certain type of way. But either way, I think the Raiders are firing on all cylinders. DC's playing his best football ever. The O-line's coming together. The play calling's coming together. The team, the defense, defensive line, everything is coming together for the Raiders. And I'm fired up, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.